I treated Courtney to a wonderful night last night at Walmart and today we're exploring Page, Arizona. It really was one of the nicest Walmarts I've stayed at, but we have a lot to do today because we only have a few hours here in Page. The reason we're here is to see Horseshoe Bend and then we're gonna check out Lake Powell. <laughs> when we came in last night, it was completely dark. So we're gonna drive south just a little bit to explore and then we're moving north to Utah. Excited? I have coffee, I'm good. <laughs> she has iced coffee, she's ready to go. Made it to Horseshoe Bend. Plenty of parking here. It is $10 per car or RV and they're open from sunrise to sunset. This is a really popular spot for sunset because it faces west. Not for us. We didn't make it in town last night in time and we're hoping for less crowds so it's fine. They say it's a 20 minute walk. It should be just about 0.7 to get there and see it. I'm excited to see it because I've seen pictures and it's amazing, but everybody says it's just bigger than you expect. So we'll see. I heard it's windy, so I'm just hoping I don't fall off the edge. Somebody recommended like making sure that you sit down on the edge or even laying on the edge so that you don't like get blown by the wind. Yeah, let's hope that's not true. It's like not windy at all here, so it's pretty though. <laughs> Definitely pretty. is just not quite high enough to get a really good view of the river because it's too dark so we're gonna take a seat enjoy the view for a little while and then see if we can get some better pictures it looks like a big amphitheater over here but also it's a thousand feet down so Courtney has made it very clear that we cannot get close to the edge eight feet from the edge uh Courtney's over here getting nervous for everyone else who's getting too close <laughs> I went to put that time lapse there and she was like holding on to my shirt but the ledge isn't even like right here I think you can see it. Oh man. <laughs> it doesn't help that we're right next to where everybody's getting their selfie. Yeah. The sun is almost up more. We'll move around and get our pictures and head out before she gets too nervous. <laughs> We definitely got some good pictures, sat and enjoyed it for a while. If you're here, there's some places that you can kind of hike to and look at, but mostly it's just enjoying the view. I think Courtney's ready to go though. <laughs> we need to get away from the edge. We are gonna drive south a little bit, see what we missed last night, and then head over to Lake Powell. If you're planning to come here, I definitely recommend early in the day. We got here around nine. So we certainly didn't make it for sunrise, but on the way down, there was only like two or three other groups that we were walking with. On the way up, it was almost a constant stream of people. 
it is a hike on a dirt trail that's very well maintained but i would recommend good shoes they even have a sign up that says carry water and wear good shoes because i'm sure there's so many instagrammers out here just wearing whatever We drove past all the overlooks that we passed last night. We uh, tried to stop a few times, but we kept missing them. So we ended up here at the Glen Canyon overlook. If you're in Page, definitely stop and check out this overlook. It's as pretty as Horseshoe Bend. It doesn't obviously have the bend, but it's a really great place to get pictures. It's free and it's not as busy. We were looking for something just a little different today for lunch. So Courtney found New York teriyaki to get some fried rice, maybe some sushi. A little different than we've had on the road this week. <laughs> we're in a steamboat. Obviously. Oh, <laughs> 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 Okay, really good, but I've never had a deep fried roll before and it's hot. <laughs> It was absolutely perfect for lunch. I really wanted sushi. Courtney really wanted fried rice. I don't know that I needed it to be a deep fried sushi roll, but it was yummy. The deep fried sushi roll was so good. <laughs> also, Courtney's the one who pushed me to get it deep fried, so it's good that she thinks that too. <laughs> we split both, it was really yummy. We are gonna check out Lake Powell on the way out of town and we are headed to Zion. She got to show me the Grand Canyon, now I get to show her this. We've been really trying to get a good view of Lake Powell and I think we finally found it. The thing is, it's the end of summer and it just looks so low. Wow. It just looks like it should just be, all of that should be water. It's really cool to see it. We've made it to Zion and we actually scored a spot to park next to the Canyon Overlook hike. This is just a one mile hike to give us a good look of the canyon. It's Courtney's first time here. So this is really her first look at Zion. 
So, so far all we have done is just drive through. We're getting ready to do the hike, but this might be my favorite national park just by what I've seen with driving. You need to come check it out already. And today we're just getting our bearings. Tomorrow is gonna be the real fun. Why is he up there? Does he know where he's gonna go? Just go back the other way, bud. Take your time. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have good light. I think there is a trail that continues on. I thought we could look that way down the valley, but really we're just looking at the tunnel and the road going up to the tunnel. It's still beautiful. made it to the Canyon Overlook. I only got in trouble three times for getting too close to the edge. Too close. <laughs> but Courtney did get to see her second tarantula. That is not a good sign for tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed our trip to Page and driving to Zion. We are really excited about what we're here to do tomorrow. But for today, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our adventure. Her birthday celebration. It's true, it's my birthday. So you should definitely subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for coming along today. We will see you in the morning. Action.